The food and drink industry produces huge quantities of waste water, but current methods to treat effluents are often very expensive and not eco-friendly. But under this greenhouse in Italy, researchers are cultivating microalgae that absorb the nutrients for their growth, a technology that could, they believe, meet EU financial and environmental requirements. Campo Rosso, in the northwest of Italy, is part of the European Salt Ghee project, aimed at demonstrating the benefits of algae in wastewater treatment. Across Europe, treating wastewater normally accounts for around 1% of total electricity consumption. But this scientist is convinced that the process of photosynthesis, as old as life on Earth, can not only reduce the expense of treating polluted water, but make it a valuable resource. The microalgae in this project is used to treat water from the dairy industry. This water must first be purified before getting to the second stage, during which it will be used to grow the culture of microalgae you can see in the ponds behind. Me. After harvesting, we obtain on one side the treated water, which you can see is clear and free of polluting substances, and on the other side, biomass, which is a high added value product that can be sold on the market once it has passed our strict quality control. The algae first sees the light in this laboratory. This one in particular is spirulina. After three billion years of existence, it has many beneficial qualities, including the ability to grow in high salinity water. This alga is capable of storing contaminants, which are the result of various industrial processes, such as nitrates, which are the main nutrient needed for the algae to grow. The alga is able to store it as protein inside its tissues through photosynthesis, which allows it to increase its concentration in the culture ponds. Sunlight, carbon dioxide and wastewater. That's about all these algae need to enable them to consume the pollutants and grow. This self-sufficient process can produce as much as 20 kilograms of dry spirulina per day. The green powder can then be sold to produce cosmetics, fertilizers, animal feed or even material for 3D printing. An opportunity for manufacturers wanting to benefit from their wastewater. A full-scale test was carried out at this factory in Slovenia, which specialises in animal hides. The water coming out of this warehouse is three times more saline than the sea, making it very expensive to treat with conventional methods, which require a lot of oxygen. But this algae culture installed below produces oxygen for free and in a sustainable way. Here, the algae are mixed with bacteria, absorbing the carbon dioxide it produces and turning it into oxygen. In principle, we are saving approximately 50 to 70 percent of energy used in the wastewater treatment. Less energy consumption, less uh, CO2 emissions, and the second very important one, more nutrients are built into the biomass, so we have less problems with eutrophication. We can recycle nutrients instead of uh, releasing them into the environment, producing uh, bad effects into the environment. Now the research work continues to test various species of algae and make installations like these completely sustainable so cultures can be built near European factories and pave the way towards a more circular economy. <laughs>